Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the uh, kind of semi-final. This is the final of the losers bracket, isn't it? That's what this is. So, Wolf Barks, Ori in the final, who's was going to face the winner in a rematch if Shawnee wins this. And this is, match in itself is a rematch. Shawnee winning the first game. Um, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and with me is Rick Reckless. Hello. Hello. Yeah, great to see you, everyone. Um, what do you reckon for this game then, Jim? Um, I reckon we'll see a repeat of the first one and I think Shawnee will win again. I think Shawnee is, is just, you know, a very consistent, very good coach and I think undead or better than Kemri. Uh, okay, well, I'll play devil's advocate a little bit because I think that Kemri do very, very well against uh, Bashi teams. Um, they come a bit undone against the Adj teams. So I'll, I'll root for Kemri controlling the uh, the undead with the additional guard and with the additional strength. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll go against the first result. Yeah, they, I mean, they certainly can do. The problem, the problem with Kemri is if their plan A doesn't work, they don't have a plan B, do they? Absolutely, yeah. They are one of the worst recovery teams from dodgy situations that there is. But if you play them absolutely spot on, and Random Boy's done an incredible job so far this tournament, then uh, then they're very rewarding. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Random Boy plays them brilliantly and uh, and gets gets the results. But, yeah, if it even slightly starts to go wrong, that, that could be it. Yeah, and, that, and that's the problem. I mean, you'd, you'd probably back uh, Shawnee to play is undead pretty perfectly as well, wouldn't you? So it's like... But, but the, this is what I'm saying. If they both play perfectly and the dice don't go stupid, I actually fancy the Kemri. It's just that if there's a slight waver in either the coach's play or in the dice, then the undead becomes the favourite. But if it's all absolutely even in the matchup itself, I prefer the Kemri. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's great analysis from Wolfbark. Um, undead will win because Kemri didn't take a chef. <laughs> That's very true. That's very, very true. Yeah. Great analysis from Wolf. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, to be fair, he does have the mighty blow block blitzer doesn't he uh, random boy so might you know although, although shawnee has got two strength five mighty blows it's not so easy to get hits with him is it against the two strength the four strength five guarders so he's probably just gonna have to yeah. blitz with a rando dude more whereas random boy should be able to blitz with a mighty blow every turn so actually random boy despite being out mighty blow two to one might actually get more mighty blow hits in yeah yeah good analysis i completely agree the, the real advantage of the undead is their responsiveness, right? They've got four agility three uh, and... Sorry, five agility three and three uh, movement seven. And, and more if they feel the fourth goal, but at the moment they're not. So so currently on the pitch, they've got uh, those agility three pieces and, and the movement seven. But, uh, but if Random Boy's positioning is absolutely spot on, he still might be able to shut them down. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, for sure. And the tackle blitzer are as much more of a threat to a ghoul than the tackle white is to anything on <laughs> Random Boy's team. Exactly, barring, yeah. sl barring slightly the dodge throw raw, but that's only one piece to protect, and he still has regen, which the ghouls don't have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In this, this is the sort of match where if you were Shawnee, you'd probably rather have. The frenzy, but even then, with a the frenzy, wouldn't be so good against these four strength five guarders. So. Yeah, you could see a lot of frenzy traps happening with with frenzy in this match. Yeah. Yeah. Which is again something to be said against against the old frenzy. Oh, nothing happening so far. No uh, attrition successful from either sides in the first two turns each. Shawnee no is going for the the. The mummy blitz now, though, blitzing his mummies with his own mummies. And if he gets a removal on one of these, it's going to be massive, isn't it? Yeah, that, that is true. Uh, the downside, of course, being that you're risking the one in nines um, and using your rerolls. But, uh, but yeah, you are right. If you do get the chip, um, then it is absolutely huge if it doesn't regen. 
I mean, even if it's a KO, if he remembers one just for the drive, it's going to be so much more breathing space, isn't it? And he can. Yeah, de yeah, there. definitely. Yeah, an early two guardian removal for this drive in itself is is absolutely massive. Yeah, totally agree. Gets the knockdown. Oh, so boy. close. You are trying to break armor nine each time, even with mighty blow. You, you're taking a little bit of a of a long shot. Yeah, high risk, Very high good. reward. Yeah, that's it. And if you're against a, a world class coach, even if you are a world class coach, then uh, sometimes high risk, high reward is the, is the way to go. Yeah, and that and that's some one. some people would even say building your team to be high risk, high reward. Like for example, taking a chef and a dirty player might might be a very very uh, Good strategy. People might say that, but I don't think <laughs> 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 And to be fair, that is the thing that, you know, saying that uh, Random Boy's got this Mighty Blow guy, it is hard for his Mighty Blow guy to hit the, uh, the actual good players in terms of the mummies. Whereas the mummies can hit the uh, Tomb Guardians. But he has removed a zombie. That would have removed a uh, mummy had he been able to get two die on a mummy. So interesting. The more zombies he gets rid of, um, the more likely he'll have a chance to hit a mummy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a, a smaller KO as a KOing a zombie seems. If Shawnee doesn't chip back. That's really big in these bash versus bash strength and guard matchups. Uh, each each piece really really counts much more so than uh, in in an elf off. Yes, yes, agreed. One one particular uh, hero I seem to remember started his second half with like six or seven elves and uh, still managed to turn over his opponent and win in the first round of blitz pit. What a what a player he must be. <laughs> That does does illustrate my point. Yeah, I'm sure he's a, a phenomenon of football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Shawnee's getting the 3D here. He'll be happy about that, won't he, I think? Yeah, I was going to say exactly the same thing. And then he's got a Mighty Blow Blitz on a Tomb Guardian as well. So definitely some potential this turn yeah. to chip back. Um, Shawnee has the weaker bench out of him in Wolfwalk's build, though, doesn't he? So... Uh, Every every removal for random boy is is fairly significant. Yeah, it's it's weaker in one way, isn't it? It's it's less numbers, but it's uh, it's better quality having the uh, having yeah. Google. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, absolutely, he's gone quality Glorious. over the quantity. No, but they're also more likely to stay out, aren't they? Because of no regen and armor seven. And I will so it's, it's a double risk, I will but like defend. you say, for quality. Uh oh. Time to take my belt from Rick. <laughs> Thank you very much, Skurov, for staying fantastic. For uh, <laughs> what's that? Five and a half beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. And oh wow, we're going to have Skuro Metal versus Wick Reckless after the match. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cut a promo on you, Skuro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make him cut a promo. <laughs> oh man, I can still remember it word for word for word. You're the one. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> wow, J5. Yeah, I mean it's a slow in it, but you know, no one's really committing anything. Um, Random boy obviously doesn't really want to get things hit by mighty blow, so he's just trying to you know keep his keep his tomb guardians as safe as he can keep them, um, which still isn't too safe. They have been hit by mighty, hit by mummy blitzes a couple of times. And just yeah, Shawnee got a bit unlucky there with the two mummy hits to again cumulatively with the others that he's done not get any attrition so far. Um, mm. And uh, but what we will see is this half ramp up now, won't we? Like at some point soon, Shawnee's going to have to press. He's going to have to pick a side uh, and just really push hard. So uh, we'll we'll see that. Who were misses? Yes, he is. He's <laughs> <laughs> very soon. We're going to be seeing Shawnee pushing hard. Well, uh, yeah, he'll penetrate Random Boy's half. Yes, yes, we've seen a big lack of penetration thus far. We really need to see some penetration if Shawnee can have a good day. 
shiny flashlights. <laughs> you don't, you don't score without penetration, that's that's for sure. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Hey, <laughs> glorious. No, I won't give in oh, until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Jim Potato, Jim Potato, <laughs> Jim Potato. Jim Potato. <laughs> Thank you, Gdanik, for staying fantastic for nearly two whole beaver pregnancies. And that's a tile shot for Gdanik as well. Glorious. A glorious reserve on Blitz Pit Day. Oh yeah. From the from the from the Blitz Pitter himself. <laughs> uh, drag it further across, Whiskey Pirate. I don't think you've got to the end. I think you're seeing the previous round, and then the screen's cut off. If you drag it across, then you'll see that uh, Random Boy beat Crucifer, and that the that the losers bracket final is now Shawnee Random Boy. <laughs> Yeah. Did you was... catch any of uh, Crucifer Random Boy, Jim? Uh, no, no, I was doing, I was doing wrestling. Um, Random Boy had to score a bit early in the second half. It was nil nil first half on Crucifer's drive. Uh, Random Boy had done well to hold him up, and then uh, Random Boy uh, had to take an earlier score. And then Crucifer was running through on turn fifteen on a ball and uh, snake eyes into armor break. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that was uh, that was how the game ended. Which was a little bit harsh, to say the least. Ah, good day, Nick. Thank you so much for the reason, man. <laughs> Flip me. Four months, baby. Thank you so much. How many beaver pregnancies is four months, Jim? That is one beaver pregnancy. One whole beaver pregnancy. Oh, a whole beaver pregnancy, good day, Nick. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I need to. I need to find my own animal that I could do pregnancies with. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's all wrong. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Jim. But <laughs> You're not the only one that could do pregnancies with animals, Jim. That's. Uh... <laughs> I just haven't picked which is my favourite yet. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much, Gadenik, for Blitzpit, for, for organising it all and, you know, having the idea, running it all, everything. Thank you very much. Awesome tournament. Glorious. Ah, uh, just a push on the hit with Mighty Blow against a mummy. That could have been absolutely huge, but it doesn't work out. Yeah. Unlucky for Redder Boy. Saying that, he's thinking about greeting it, and he might do. Yeah, Three rerolls yeah. left. But yeah, I like that reroll. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I do as well. And because also, he, oh, not Awarded. only has he been lucky as fuck from doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not that lucky. He's regen. He's only got two more turns to defend the score, hasn't he? That's the thing. Yes, there's three more turns. But he, he, his turn eight, he's either stopped yeah. the score or he hasn't. So he's only got two turns to stop the score. So I, I like it for that reason, yes. Are you saying that you've not done a Kemri one turn, Jim? I'm, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and not versus a competent opponent. <laughs> fair, fair enough, yeah. You know, with one square apart, he's not going to do it, is he, pretty much? No, no, he's, no, absolutely not. I like the positional blitz there, holding that with the uh, with the Tomb Guardian. Shawnee might yeah. go for the uphill blitz here, or a one. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that's uh, it's probably looking the best way through if you also because otherwise you're not getting any players through to support the ball. So I think yeah, the tackle white comes in for the uphill blitz, and then you can get the ghoul and the white through uh, to support the ball carrier. Yeah. I think that's the only play. I totally agree. Oh no, saying that is. Uh, oh yeah, because otherwise, yeah, you're gonna if you get a push, you're pushing this dodge goes, and yeah, it's got to be the uphill on the moment. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a cheeky side cage, or uh, maybe just a screen if he feels the tackle blitzer. I can't get round, but I think he might be able to. So I think we might see a side cage. Yeah, it's rough, isn't it? He might just not get much penetration. He might just go for a... <laughs> Shawnee, Shawnee normally gets the penetration. Have you seen the quiff? Oh, he can go for a wandy there, but he needed a power and he got it. Wow, that was That's cool. what I was saying. Just a push was so bad that yeah. I thought the uphill seemed better to me, but uh, fair play. 
Yeah, he's, he's just going to tag the uh, tackler here, isn't he, with a with a white? Yeah. People though, they tag um, Blitzrars as if that's definitely stopping them uh, coming back out and getting the the ball carrier. But uh, like a four plus dodge with a reroll isn't too bad. No, but it's it, it, it's good because it, it like it solves the problem. You don't want to side cage, do you? And so it kind of solves the problem of making him. He's got a dodge and then make another dodge. Probably hasn't he? Or he's got to knock down this. Yeah this dude and knock down this dude and then then he could come round oh and he's, he's made all oh the wow well. okay now he's now he's got it really showed up yeah yeah that's real real good real good from Shawnee there the 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 dice which actually might be the only player it's incredible isn't it that yeah. uh, even with how that drive's gone that he's managed something like this saying that the 1 dice power was huge on the thrower I wasn't it if that does happen then yeah. it's probably drive over, really. Yeah, um, I do think that... it was probably better to uh, to uphill. Hmm. I think. It was, it, it was certainly more likely. It was 70% to succeed, um, as opposed to 50%, although it was 30% uh, to turnover as opposed to um, 17%. But if you do roll the 30%, then you get another chance with a reroll, of course. So, yeah, I, I think it's uh, probably the uphill was better, but it's worked out incredibly well. Yeah, look at dog. Might just do the TG blitz, yeah, yeah, TG blitz. Maybe. Well, we haven't seen the uh, the tackle ra blitz. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, very well done, Shawnee. He's actually scoring a turn early, though. Unless um, he could, maybe he feels like he can stall this from here with that failure. Yeah, but, I think um, with that double score, I think he can definitely stall it. And he's got the rerolls. Even against Kemri, you don't want to give away the two turn, but it's not too concerning, that's for sure. It's probably yeah. the best team to give away a two turn against. Yeah. I think he'll. I think he'll definitely try to stall it now. I hundred percent. I think he'll try to stall it. I can't see him not trying to stall it. Because <laughs> even though it's a two turn with one reroll, if you don't give him that, he doesn't score. <laughs> if the ball carrier moves down, he takes the score. Good, fair enough. Takes the score. Uh, I was going to say, that he's only really got one skeleton to go and blitz the ball carrier with. And on a both down, you're turning over anyway, and that probably leaves good recovery for Shawnee. Um, and on a, and so it's only really a one in six to get the the full power and sack and not turn over. But uh, but no, he decides that the Camry two turn is unlikely enough. Random boy's only gonna have one reroll for it. He hasn't got the fame. Very unlikely he gets a second reroll. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, she only had three rerolls and got one off the. Uh, uh, you know, the kickoff event and hasn't needed to use any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Wolfbark. Yeah, making the Tomb Guardian the three dice. Yeah. Yeah. But the, uh, the zombie didn't come back. That might affect the second half if uh, any attrition is done here by Random Boy. Yes, and he's got the four ghouls. So, you know, he's, he's going to hit a ghoul, isn't he? He's going to surely try to... It doesn't really, hasn't really tried for a two turn here does it look he's not doesn't look like he's trying for the two turn really because maybe he's not maybe he is just thinking uh long game over time do some attrition because you'd really want the uh the tomb guard on the sideline to get the guard in and then hit the uh goo with tackle and he hasn't set up yeah I, I yeah he definitely hasn't set oh oh no hang on no he's set up to go through the middle Okay. That's what he's doing. Mm, kind of. <laughs> I 
I'd have rather hit the uh, go with tackle. If only run if I had a chef, this could only be two rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, Wolfpack, that's that's brutal. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. He's double tagging the tackle white uh, because the the dodge throw is going to be the primary scoring threat, yeah. and that's a lot harder for uh, for Shawnee to deal with if he's got a three plus dodge out to hit him with the best piece. Oh, this is hideous. I love see you later. Tell you the truth, I think this is hideous. I think it's much better to go down on one of the sidelines. <laughs> Because now all of the ghouls can reach to, to like get him, so he's got to protect it from all angles. Whereas if he'd gone down the sideline, he would just need to protect from one direction, wouldn't he? Do not like that. One direction. Oh, I'm a big fan of one direction, though. Well, <laughs> not really. It, they sold out, Jim. I like them in their, their early days when they were just playing uh, clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is this is rough because you don't like to see the reroll go in, but without it, it's extremely unlikely that he succeeds. So, yeah, I think he's got to got to reroll there, but now he's he's on a wing and a prayer because he's got to make the catch without a reroll next turn yeah. and possibly a, probably a dodge as well. Yeah, yeah, he could he could have he could have gone down the other side. He could have put a guard in and then blitz the uh, blitz this blitz the sure hands ghoul. Um, I, I think Shawnee should have put his Shohan's ghoul in front because he could have blitzed that Shohan's ghoul to get to get through the sideline, and you know he could have taken away Shawnee's sure hands for overtime potentially with that hit with a tackler, and he could have got down the side, and then the the the, the tackler just literally couldn't have reached to the sideline cage, and he would only have this uh, wrestle wrestle ghoul. So I think that was definitely the way to do it. I'm shocked that he didn't go down the sideline, but he's got two scoring threats and. You know, Shawnee can knock one over and uh, knock the other. Oh, he's going to just knock the ball down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That wasn't a screen. <laughs> oh, random boy. It, it was not. And it, it seems a shame. I think he forgot about him, but that skeleton behind the ball started the drive right at the back near the end zone. Mm -hmm. And I think he, he probably forgot and misplaced him. Um... If he'd, if he'd started in a sensible position, he could have uh, screened off the ball there. Yep. No. Well, I'm well, surprised... He's going to get to hit the short hands, at least. I'm surprised he didn't base... Nah, I guess he's a tackler, he doesn't want to base the tackler, but he could have <laughs> still based him with, like, two guys, couldn't he? Interesting. <laughs> no. There ends the Kemri 2 turn. <laughs> Shawnee wishing he'd got those extra rerolls in the second half in case of a potential overtime, but never mind. <laughs> so now it's random boys' offense, and I feel like random, like random boys, like Kemri's are better on on defense than offense. So it could be a bit tricky, couldn't it, if they get stuck a bit. They can't really dodge with a ball carrier. They don't have movement seven. Adds three guys to hand off to or something. They haven't got a lot of options, have they, really? They need things to go well no. for them. Or... What? Random Boy has done really, really well this tournament on offense from what I've seen with the Kemri is that he's put a load of pressure on with the Tomb Guardians. And then when the dice have gone badly on whatever turn they have for the opposition, so they find themselves a bit out of position, then he pushes down and takes the score. So what we might see uh, is if that happens here, uh, an earlier score from Random Boy than you might expect, unless the attrition goes incredibly well uh, in his favor. Um, and then he'll fancy his chances at trying to defend a shorter drive uh, because like you say, Kemri is so good on the defense normally. So mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see an earlier score from Random Boy when a window of opportunity arises uh, and then a, a longer defensive drive than you'd normally get from Shawnee. Yeah, interesting. And there's P. Diddy. That would yes. be a, de a devastating one it would be from Random Boy to Shawnee. 
<laughs> so we've been able to put three strength, four strength, five guarders on the LOS, but Shawnee can't really deny him the LOS. He can just give him less valuable men to punch. Yeah, he's going to take one less LOS hit here. Um, so just the, the two instead of three. And maybe Random Boy won't want to commit to making the two Guardian on the left of three dice. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. I think he should and will. Yeah, you, it's not too important to position your men. It's, so, yeah, I, I agree. Does the blitz instantly? They're doing a, a fine job so far. One last three dice to go. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to stand the other Tomb Guardian next to him so he's got like two Tomb Guardians together in both places. Oh, funny the push. Ripperoni. That means no follow, yeah. If he'd powered him, I thought. I think if he'd powered him, he might have gone and stood the other two mm. guardian next to him. Yeah, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a nice little block of power. They're, they'd work very well in pairs, don't they? Yeah. He's made the pickup, which is always uh, half the battle with Camry. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone it, it likes to say that they're terrible at picking up the ball, but they're pretty decent at it, aren't they? For like in normal situations, they're pretty decent at picking up the ball, really. Uh, I mean, yeah, if, if you're low on rerolls, you'd rather have uh, a, uh, a four plus with sure hands, a three plus with no sure hands. Yeah, for sure. It's only like in desperation states when it's horrible, isn't it? When you can't make it better than 75. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's not like he had to use a reroll or anything. Sean, he didn't get a reroll off the kickoff. Um, I think that's actually perfect no, defense. It's probably better for Random in. Boy than uh, a reroll for Sean. Yep. And I will defend. I will defend. Rick, the alpaca has a seven-month pregnancy. Yeah, this is that still fine for Random Boy <laughs> you very much flicky flag this damn fantastic for one and a quarter beaver pregnancies and he says rick the alpaca has a seven month pregnancy that could be your animal um, uh -huh. so there you, go. you heard it here first rick wants to get alpacas pregnant <laughs> <laughs> oh fantastic <laughs> yeah <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what I don't like? I don't like the uh, cages behind the front line like that. I always hate that. Any team, any time, versus any opponent. <laughs> I do not like when people have their cage like right behind the, f the front line like that. Is that because the ball can get based and then it's game over? Is that is that your issue with it, Jim? Essentially, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like it's just too easy to put a ton of pressure on the ball. Like, you know, not like, oh, base it and it's over. But I do feel like, you know, when the ball's right there, it is just too easy because you want to put a lot of guys in the front anyway and, like, you know, kind of... Do you know what I mean? Like you want to put putting pressure on their point of attack yeah. and you're putting pressure on the cage at the same time. So Yeah, it, no, it's a good point. I hadn't really considered it too much. I, I would say if there's one time that that doesn't apply quite as strongly, it probably is against uh, guard two guardians. <laughs> yeah. But but, uh, but yeah, no, I do. I do think you make a good point there, actually, that I hadn't really considered. So I'm, I'm going to take that away from this. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. <laughs> um, just just further back or answers if, if just the ball was like you know a few squares back um like if if the ball like you know i don't know like if you if you think of a tetris shape 
<laughs> the three long and you know the three down if it was back there he, he's not going to hit it with anything and it, it would have been pretty safe and I just didn't think there was any need to get him right up the arse of the Tomb Guardians <laughs> and yeah as, as Wolfbard says there's usually no need to that's that's the thing isn't it oh my blow attempts on the guard ah double skulls and he instantly re-rolls it gets the pow let's hope he needs something from this I think Ooh, he and he does. It. Uh, that's two regens for Shawnee and two massive regens because it's a mummy and a guard white. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Random Boy, although he's cost himself a reroll, has just made this drive a hell of a lot easier for himself. Yeah, that's big for the drive for sure. An extra cheeky guarder. Yep. This doesn't want in 27. Then <laughs> he can just move out that Guardian once. Oh, he followed. Yeah, I almost asked last turn whether you'd like to see some basing up with the Tomb Guardians, Jim, because that's that's really how you find the gaps with Kemri, is you just you get in there um, and you force the opponent to roll the dice uh, against strength five guard pieces. Um, I'd actually rather see him do it with pretty much all the two guardians uh, rather than just picking one to do it with. I think that's a little easy to pick off. Well, especially um, when you base one of his two strength five guys. Yeah, it, exactly. <laughs> I was hoping that he'd base up some of the strength threes and with multiple two guardians and really give him some questions. Mm. Uh, this is probably the worst version of it that uh, could illustrate my point, but it is what <laughs> I was hoping Grandin Boy would do. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really weird follow there, I think. And because Shawnee was already kind of out of position with the other mummy anyway, so he was always going to bring that mummy back. Yep. Across. So now he's got his mummies together. He's getting a 2D mighty blow. Oh, blockless block. He eats it. He knew. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. What a genius wow. random boy was, counting on that 11%. <laughs> <laughs> I blow blitz on a ghoul could hurt. Yeah. Could. Yeah, I didn't like that. And that's a genuine, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I just didn't like it. It could well have been the right play, that couldn't it? But I wouldn't have considered it. Personally. Yeah, so like that Tomb Guardian going in there, I really like. I really like that. Yeah. Um, I left himself a GFI here. Yeah. Wolfbark uh, won the other one. Wolfbark's in the final. Hmm. There you go. So two people liked it. And obviously Random Boy liked it too. Maybe Shawnee liked it, or disliked it, depending on his point of view. <laughs> Random Boy might have left one dice on the board with Wrestle here, depending on how uh, spicy Shawnee's feeling. Yeah. Yeah. His sure hands can run around and tag uh, adjacent to the ball carrier, the dodge and the mighty blow. And then the, the Wrestle uh, can dodge, and I think one GFI, without counting it again, <laughs> uh, to, to hit the ball carrier. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, he might go for it. Because that's the thing, yeah, yes, yes, uh, Shawnee's two mummies are out of position now, but also, by the same token, Random Boy's three um, Tomb Guardians are kind of out of position as well, aren't they? So, I don't know, it's, it's more that these two are, be, are taken out and that removal has made a bigger difference, I think, than the basing. I, and obviously the one it's in nine. A, if he just he could have just powered that guy, right? Could have just powered him and removed him, and then it. Would and he he is going for it. He is going for it. And I I like this because against against elves where you've got no recovery or very poor recovery, this kind of play is often a mistake. But against Camry, where they can very much fail the pickup, um, yeah, this getting any sack on Camry is always huge. 
And you can get a miracle scatter. Oh, oh nearly. so nearly. So nearly the miracle scatter. <laughs> that would have been a bit disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that would have been um, horrible. <laughs> so yeah, no no recovery, as you expect, uh, for the undead, which is, uh, like I say, bad against the agility teams, but against Kemri in particular, just making them have to pick the ball back up again is, uh, is often a big victory. So I, I really like uh, Shawnee rolling the dice there. Oh, I was so close to being an incredible scatter. Uh, the, the odds of that, coming through the skeleton and the mummy and landing in the undead's area, was so unlikely, but then suddenly became so lightly. Yep. Yeah. Got away with it by a hair's breadth in the end, random boy, but he could have felt very hard done by. Yep. Yeah, I thought he was going to make this uphill, and then he would have had the option to go around the back with the, uh, with the ghoul, but I think he was right to not go around the back, because he's already got the wrestler down. And the other girl, he needed guys kind of in front of the ball. So I think that was definitely the right decision to not do that. Maybe he shouldn't have moved this, this zombie. Or, or maybe he, yeah, maybe he shouldn't have moved this zombie. And he could have double GFI'd with him, right, to tag the tackler at the end. So presumably I guess he just three. felt the, the risk of turning over before you've picked him up was too high. Like, yeah. that's always the balance, isn't it? When you want to GFI a guy that's on the floor... You think you have to think how likely am I to turn over with the play that I'm going to make? And if the answer is a bit too high, then it's better to just stand him and and sadly not make the GFIs as much as that would improve your situation. Yeah, I don't think Shawnee fell in a trap there as much as he got a guy removed and another guy stunned, and that just left him weak there. To be honest, I, I wouldn't mark that against Shawnee. Maybe the problem with Shawnee had was sticking the mummy out there before, and the, you know, a couple of turns ago, because it was really out, really wide, wasn't it, the mummy? And that's kind of what I was hoping to do in my game versus uh, versus Wolfbark by pushing. Well, that's why I pushed so far on the side, so he put a mummy on the side so I could get away from him. And Shawnee just did it by himself there for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, massive, massive raid from Andy and Zunk. Thank you so much, guys. I uh, really hope your stream went well today. Welcome, welcome, Andy and Zunk viewers. So we are casting the Losers Bracket Final of uh, Blitz Pit. So Blitz Pit, if you don't know, is one minute turn tournament over a weekend with 16 of the, uh, the best coaches in the world. Andy's been in it before, so you guys probably do mostly know what it's all about. Um, and the winner of this game will go on to the grand final and the loser will be out. The, uh, the coach waiting in the grand final is Wolfbark. So, so here we are, Shawnee's undead, Random Boys Camry for a place in the grand final against Wolfbark's undead. Hello, Yarlipool. Hi, Azunk. Great to see you, man. Thank you so much. Hope you've had a lot of fun this afternoon. Oh, how did Andy do in the CCL playoffs? That was, that was the big match today, wasn't it? How did that go down, guys? Apologies, I've been blitz pitting all day, so I couldn't uh, couldn't check it out. I really, really hope it got through. Hello, Slater gone. Probably a little bit because I uh, I can't be bothered to uh, put headphones in. <laughs> One awesome old dude, absolutely awesome. Well, I get to see the next round then, which is which is wonderful. Absolutely brilliant, fantastic, Julian. Well done, Andy. Hey, how's it going, my man? Championi. <laughs> awesome uh, casting of Blitzbit, Dimmy. You do a great job, man. Um, yes, Guru, he did. He, he was lucky as fuck. <laughs> he played terribly and was lucky. <laughs> I'm sure he'll win that easily, Gillingham. I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll win that easily. <laughs> So, uh, Random Boy did obviously make the recovery, Jim. Sorry, uh, got taken away for a second there, but uh, this is this is looking really nice now for Random Boy. <laughs> uh, it wasn't my unbiased opinion, it was uh, Artemis Black's unbiased opinion. I didn't watch it, to be honest. I just listened to him going insane. <laughs> Um, but yeah, maybe that was a maybe that wasn't. But you see, you say that uh, you say that Randa Boy left that sack on as a trap. But you know, Shawnee was already out of position before that, so I don't, I, I don't feel I, if it was a trap. I feel it was a bad trap. 
Yeah, I, I never like leaving sack traps, sack traps, bloody hell, um, with uh, with Kemri, because if it does come off, like it wasn't that unlikely to come off, and if it does come off, then there's no guarantee you're going to recover. They're, they're the worst team to, to leave that kind of uh, trap, in inverted commas, with, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was a trap. I think I think just Shawnee got out. Shawnee got himself out of position with that, putting a mummy on the too far over. And then Random Boy exploited it, but and I just think Random Boy probably, you know, he Kemri a bit slow, so he, he needed a bunch of guys to uh to nice make. series of hits here that could do some stuff against the ghouls. Gets a KO on the short hands ghoul. Twenty-five percent chance he won't be back for overtime. Fifty percent chance if he has to score early here, they won't have his short hands ghoul for the return drive. So that's uh, quite quite a nice KO there for, for Random Boy. <laughs> yep, huge. Uh, the stall is starting to look on now. I wasn't sure it was going to be at the start of the turn. But I'm start. Oh, Ooh. dear. That's, that's really unlucky. That's the second double skulls as well at a critical moment for... Uh, yeah, now it's three rerolls for one for Shawnee. Yeah, that's that's the big concern now because he's looking really good in this drive, his random boy, but uh, three rerolls to one in overtime format isn't nice. <laughs> with, with the fame being Shawnee's as well. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe Skuro, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He was very animated, but I, I didn't watch it to be honest. Cause I was just, uh, I just had it on in the background. Okay, so this time staying one away from the end zone is uh, is perfectly good because it means that the tackle white, even if he makes the dodges out, the four plus three plus out, can't go and hit the ball. So that that seems like the right decision from Random Boy there. I also like him leaving the ball more centre than he was going to initially, uh, more central, because uh, just in case you get the opportunity to switch right and get another turn stall, which uh, sometimes happens. Yeah. If you go to one side, then there's there's no way you're going to be able to, to switch sides on a movement six. Yeah, and Shawnee's doing a little bit to cover that there. Yeah, exa exactly. So you're immediately making your opponent play around that as well, which is which is good. Yeah, I think it was more a, a mistake by Shawnee that that um, Random Boy exploited. But again, oh, another removal for Random Boy. Yeah, he's he's definitely had the better look this half for sure, hasn't he? Uh, well, well, except for the double skulls costing him rerolls. Yeah. Um, True. It's why it's so nice to be offense first in overtime format because you can just let stuff go as the defender and effectively give up the drive yeah. and just say I'm just going to try and chip something but take the rerolls into overtime. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's exactly what we've seen. But like in terms of the drive itself, if there was no overtime, he definitely had the better look in the drive. But yeah, for, yeah. The, for the game, it wasn't that lucky. Yeah, for sure. But the 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 drive itself was lucky um, because. You know, if you if you disregard how his rerolls, which is going to affect next drive. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah, Surely won't be too worried because his cars regen again, and the two mm -hmm. KOs uh, will have two rolls each. And if the zombie stays out, that doesn't mean a thing. So yeah. that's uh, not not a big not a big thing for Shawnee. No, not at all. Yeah, this this drive looks very strongly random boys. And overtime right now is certainly a, a strong favourite of Shawnee, but uh, not in a it's over sort of way. Yeah. No, it's nowhere near over. Nowhere near over, yeah, absolutely. In fact, if Kemri win the toss, even with the reroll disadvantage, that winning the toss is so big uh, that I you'd probably make Kemri a slight favourite if they won the toss. Yeah. Yeah, especially with one just with one reroll. If they have no rerolls, then it gets very dodgy. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Totally, yeah. One one reroll is, is a nightmare. Should have had a chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, he's okay. He's okay. I was just looking around going, is he okay? <laughs> yeah. 
I guess the only thing he's left on is an uphill on the two guardian, and then there's nobody. There's one ghoul, isn't there, that's on the floor yep. that could potentially get round for a one dice. Yep. I can think... stand the zombie. Can you get anyone else? No, you can't get. No, it is just an uphill. You can't get anyone else over to the. Uh, you could also double to... GFI for a one d with nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could double GFI for a one d. Yep. yep, that's that's true. I think he goes. See, that's that. better. That's that's much better. Yeah, I think he goes for that because he he'll take the double down, won't he? Like it's no better than oh. wrestle for him. Hold on. And given given how horrible this position is for him, getting <laughs> I don't think this was a trap by a random boy. <laughs> <laughs> You've fallen for it again, Jim. <laughs> Terry, wow. Terry. He didn't go for the one he didn't go for the one D. Yep. That's uh surprising. I guess he feels he can get left and right or front and back of the I think left and right was better. But he can get front and back of the uh the throw right here, which would would cause a bit of issue. I don't think you're leaving that for a reroll burn because if he if he does it, you just don't score. <laughs> I think if that's his plan, it's a terrible plan, genuinely terrible. To to leave that on purpose and hope for a reroll burn, I think is a horrible, horrible, horrible plan. If that was his plan, Man. yeah, you. You'd have to be in a really desperate situation to go for a reroll burn plan like that. Like, if you were also numerous men down, oh, now that could be a big KO. Again, 25% 20, chance, like the Shorthand School, that that stays out, which would be huge, but <laughs> only 25%. Yep. Yeah. I don't really like having these two not together because now he can blitz out the score, can't he? I feel like Shawnee should have made the GFI or dodge up. Dodging GFI or double GFI, or whatever, to make um, these a part. Does he blitz out there? Because if he doesn't get the POW, is he leaving a 5 plus dodge? Well, does he maybe just blitz the corner ghoul and uh, and dodge the, on the 4 plus? He can dodge on a 4 plus if he blitzes out, can he? Can he? Oh, if he pushes straight ahead and then comes backwards again. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, you're right. So, so uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, you're right. That's yeah. absolutely, absolutely fine. Just risking the 1 in 9. Not blitzing with block, but you haven't got any choice. Yeah, I think I think you've got to try and get the power and save the dodge. 50-50 dodge is horrible, isn't it? Can he make it a, a three dice without blocking his route? No, I don't think so. You not think? I, I think he maybe oh, can. Yeah, yeah, the two can guardian, the the two yeah, guardian can move into the there. ghouls. The tackle one goes right around the front. The skeleton comes in the side. He's running out of time. What's he doing? Oh my goodness, he's going to have to make the dodge because he's run out of time thinking about it. See, now this is why that's just worse. <laughs> he really needed what? the power if he didn't. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, but at least he's got dodge skill. Yeah. Click, click. Why are you moving your blitzer after the blitz? Just move. Yeah, he could have made it 3D, yeah. Yeah, he really could have done. Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see the, 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 the Tomb Guardian. Yeah, he could have made it 3. So he's cost himself. The last reroll, which is yep. a nightmare. Yep, that's horrible. Even if he wins the toss with no rerolls, it's going to be rough. Yep, really rough. Okay, Toomey comes back at least. Shorthand score comes back as well. Um, mm. Attrition turn means absolutely nothing because Random Boy has a bench. So uh, I say attrition turn, sorry. Obviously, Shawnee does have a one turn attempt here to win yes. the, uh, the loser's bracket. Yeah, and I tell you what, he had a great try at the movement seven uh, one turn. No, was it? Was it Shawnee? I think it was. Yeah, Shawnee had a great try at it against Wolfbark. Um, but was it against Wolfbark? I don't know. Somebody Shawnee had a great try against somebody. Somebody had a great try at a one turn with somebody. <laughs> this is uh, this is what they pay us for, Jim. Commentary like this, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, it was the one that we did. It was the one that we did just now. Yeah, Shawnee versus Wolfpark, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was really good. Yeah, it was really cool that he saw the chance of doing it, even though he didn't have a chance of doing it. It was cool that he saw the chance of a potential chance having had more men. If he'd had 12 men on the field, he could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute dicing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Coffee Monster, yeah. Ooh. That's oh oh Ooh. nearly a touchback as well, but not. Was quite. this riot a trap by Random Boy to get Shawnee to use a real <laughs> 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 
definite, definite trap. It's a reroll burn. It is. Watch him. Watch him spend two rerolls trying to two turn unsuccessfully. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go into overtime with only one reroll. <laughs> Wow, oh, this would be a little bit sad for Random Boy if it ended here. I'd rather see him lose in overtime. That seems more honest. Yeah, it'd be a heartbreaker, wouldn't it? I don't know why Shawnee didn't set up for three dice with the uh, mummies here. Oh, because he was going to do a one turn, right? I guess. I guess he was going to set up to do a one turn or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's going to push. Yeah, he was going. He was going to go for the one turn with his uh, his school in the middle. Sean, he's been watching Dio closely and learned how to roll uh, Riot well at the right moments. Yeah. We had we had multiple uh, multiple Riots from Dio this tournament, uh, Jimmy, after being, being eight turned. Really? Dirty Dino, yeah. <laughs> Rolling all the dice here. He's had pretty good dice, hasn't he, to be fair, Sean? He's, uh, he hasn't needed to use his rerolls at all yet in this match. <laughs> <laughs> End of the first half of five rerolls. Literally re zero rerolls. That's obscene. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he has let a lot go though as well, which I really think is good. Especially in the second half, was really yeah. really good discipline. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Kful. I know. Sorry, man. He knocked uh, Dion knocked Kful out with one of those riots. Nope. Poor Kful. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I feel like it might even... Uh, I don't know what... It's not going to re-roll that. Uh. So, this is, I mean, the question here is, how likely is the Tuddy got to be that he sinks a re-roll into it? Probably not too likely, because I feel like two re-rolls is going to be all right, isn't it, in overtime? Yeah. Two rerolls and the fame. Even even if you're thinking, what about kicks? Um, yeah, I think against zero. Yeah, it, it's got to be not too big of a chance to because you obviously you're winning the whole game if you make it. Yeah. The important thing for Randa Boy here is to not leave a chain push on. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would have been better to have put all these guys on one side. I don't really like putting that ghoul out there on the other side. I would have put them all on the same side because as it is, you can put, you know, those Tomb Guardians now can do some defending. Whereas if all three had been on the same side, those two Tomb Guardians would have been out of it, wouldn't they? Just put a Tomb Guardian straight ahead of the ghoul and the other one a square away that's uh normally you'd see them a lot of coaches would have put them on the front corners but i think he's done that to avoid the uh, the chain yeah it means that um shawnee can't get down the left hand side to get any sort of angular blitz he doesn't really have the pieces there to do that anyway but it, it totally rules it out hmm. be good what would you do jim Probably just blitz the throw the the throw ra and then yeah four plus three plus to score. Chain the mummy forward and then blitz with him. <laughs> I guess. Maybe he's just going to double GFI with him to blitz one two three. Yeah, he can double GFI blitz with the mummy. Oh no, he's not doing that. Okay, so oh, he's he going to dodge two, the goal. Oh, okay, yeah, this yeah is he's going right, to dodge the goal into the end zone and uh, make the the longer pass. I'll just pop. So, I, yeah, I do think we see the reroll if this dodge fails, or at any stage now. Yeah, or at any stage now. Yeah, for sure. You can make this a, a quick pass. Oh, yeah, that's real good. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you just do quick pass, no intercepts. Nightmare. Nightmare. It's over. 
Look at dog Shawnee. Oh right, man, on. Riot. Riot's massive. so horrible, isn't it? it? I hate it. I genuinely massive hate it. Com yeah, massive commiserations to uh, to Random Boy. That is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Yeah. He's going to leave with a lot of what ifs now in his head. And that's going to uh, be in his bonnet for some time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's horrible, isn't it? Like, because. The, mm. the, you know, when someone scores on turn eight, that's that's playing it perfectly, basically, isn't it? Or whatever, you know, like perfect yeah. result. And then you've done yeah. everything right, and then the game just says, fuck you. And then you yeah. lose. It's horrible. So, yeah, I've got a feel for Random Boy there. But congrats to Shawnee. Thanks for watching. Don't, thank you, Rick. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.